Hi class, today we will talk about MATLAB. We will use this software for our lab. So for this software, I have some introduction here. Home, inside home we have the new script, new button for a new document, open, and we can import data, and we can save our workspace, and we can have variable, and we can analyze the code and run with time, and we can have simulating and layout, and etc. And the most important one is the help. If you have any problem that you don't understand about MATLAB, you can click the help and this help will come out all the information about here. So the most important one we will share here, we are from signal processing. So we can find the signal processing in here. So here have image processing and we also have signal processing toolbox. So this is the signal processing toolbox. We can click inside. Inside here, have a lot of information about ah, signal generation, whole processing. We have the feature generation. We have the correlations that you already study in chapter two. And we will have the data analog filter. We will study later on, transform and etc. So you can get from here about the example code and how to use the MATLAB. Okay, besides and this, we will have explanation on here. We can plot our graph using the function from the plot and we can apply some apps inside and we can draw our curve. We can do optimization, VIP kernel, signal analyzer, image acquisitions and etc. for the control system and also have a lot, a lot of things that can be applied. Okay, so basically this is our MATLAB here. So here have the command window. This command window is you giving the command to the MATLAB and the MATLAB will do the command for you. Okay. For this current folder is the folder showing that where are you saving the file and where you're putting your data, everything. For this workspace is the, is the place that display the process that has been processed by your MATLAB that you're giving the command, it will process it and it will display the value and the step that have you done. Okay, so first we have to click on new script. So new script here is a file where you write the code and you can save the code. Now we will give one example on the signal processing. So based on slide here, signal processing with MATLAB. First example, you have to sketch a continuous and a digital signal. So this is the example. The example one, y n equals to exponential j phi n u n for the n from 0, 1, 2, 3 until 10. So for this question, now you how you want to write the code. First, you have to write your n number. n equals to, okay, bracket from 0 until 10 bracket semicolon so in between of the signal how many interval that you want to give so we can say we want to give a interval of 0 0.5 so if 0 0.5 so now is from 0 0 0.5 so between 0 0.5 you will have 0 0.5 1, 1.5, then 2, 2.5, and until 10. Okay, then after that, we will write our signal. Y equals to exponential. Okay, in a bracket. So just now we have 1 multiplied with our i, imaginary number. So multiply our pi and multiply with our n. Okay, so semicolon. So where we should put our graph in? So we should put in figure one. Okay, semicolon here, so go down. Now we want to subplot our graph. So what is subplot? Subplot means you want to plot your graph in a figure. Inside a figure, you will have a few graph together. So now we want to the graph, the support you will put inside. Maybe you will have one, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6 or how many figures that you want in a uh, figure. So now you want to plot a graph, one and above, one and below. So this support is in the metric form. So for example, you have two graphs. First metric is 1, 1. First row, first column. So the second one is the second row, first column. Okay, so you will have two graphs, 1, 1 for the first one. Okay, then you plot. Plot. Okay, and comma y bracket. Now you are plotting the first graph. The plot is the continuous graph. So you are plotting a continuous signal. Okay. Second, you want to subplot again. Subplot. Now second graph, what you want to plot? Okay, you want to plot second on the first column and second. Okay, now you are plotting the second graph. So this graph, you want to put a discrete, you need to use stem. Stem, your n, x and this your n, so y bracket. So now you are plotting two graphs. So this is your uh, discrete graph. Now, okay. Now you can run. So how you want to do? Okay, here. You can run your edit. You go to editor. Okay, you run it. And when run it, you ask you to save. So we just said that this is our file. Okay, we have a signal. Example one. Okay, we save, and it will run. You see when it display in busy here, which means they are running the code. Okay, now they are displaying the graph. So the above one is continuous, below one is a discrete graph. Okay. So done for question one.